As visitors arrive at Cape Town's 101-year-old Christenberg Botanical Gardens, they are greeted by a series of dinosaurs. A reminder of what this landscape may have looked like millions of years ago. The cycad plants next to them are just as old, with fossils showing they have existed for around 250 million years. While dinosaurs were wiped out 65 million years ago, these hardy plants lived through that and two other mass extinctions, including the one that killed off more than half of the plant and animal species on the planet. But their future is now being threatened. The Red List determines how threatened a species is. Just over two-thirds of all the world's more than 300 species of cycads are now threatened with extinction. While habitat loss is usually the reason for cycads disappearing globally, in South Africa, it's theft. It looks like about a 50% decline in the last uh, 10 to 15 years. And most of that is driven by collecting. So we've seen a limited amount of habitat loss, a limited amount of invasive species, but by far the majority of those are individual plants that have disappeared from those landscapes. A new initiative at Christenberg's Botanical Gardens aimed to address the cycad theft crisis in South Africa. Cycads are the most threatened living organism, and their main threat is humans removing them from the wild. And for that reason, we've come up with a product together with our partners to use microdots. These are tiny dots that have individual codes written in them. We spray this on the plant. If the plant is removed from the wild or from collections, when we recover the plant, we'll know where the plant comes from. Currently in South Africa, there's a mix of legal and illegal cycad growing in many private gardens. Experts in the country want a moratorium on all trade in cycads until there are better control measures put in place to save these prehistoric plants. Sadiq Shaban, CCTV.